What's up, Mr. Kid 50 Cent? Coming at you live, you hear me? What's up, 50 Cent? My homie, how's it going? Now look, we heard rumors last year that you were performing and helping out with the cutscenes and last year's Chin and Chow, what was that like? Um, I wrote material for scenes in the film. We heard you brought your homies along, you brought your crew. Myself, Lloyd Banks, Young Buck, Olivia. So, this is a pretty crunk event where there's a lot of sh stuff going down. Like there's actors, there's, you got your plate of food in front of you. And I'm sitting there and you got the actors over you doing great jobs at delivering lines. And Were you able to follow the plot closely? Well, I'm a pretty programmed for doing more than one thing at a time, you know, multitask. Well, yeah, chilling like a villain. Did you, for sure, throw it down, Holmes? Did, you know what is really difficult for me to do? For me not to sound good rapping. You know, but... What was it like working with the Chin and Chow crew? It's a little awkward, but it's cool. So talk to the peeps after the show. A lot of people explain it as an out-of-body experience. What was it like for you? I was unconscious. You know, but... I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's... I guess that's a sensitive subject. Uh, we'll, we'll move on. Like, how, how hard was it to write for Chin and Chow? Like, where did you inspire? Did you did you take take it from the hood? Loosely based on my life story, so they uh, modified my lifestyle to make it entertaining, cinematically a little more, you know. So. Baby. Now, be no Nate Wigger. I, I I have problems, but like I, I figure, be more black. I need a gap. What do you think? <laughs> 